Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and no bumper. We're going to get right into it. This is uh, number 105 on my list of 133 favorite artists. I appreciate your coming in here and joining me. The criteria is below, but basically, I made 133 playlists. Yeah, each one, eight zero minutes, 80 minutes. And I listened to them for a year, ranked them, re-ranked them. I consider the live experience, do I read up, you know, just how interested am I in the artist. And so if you like what I'm doing, hit that like or subscribe button. I also have a Patreon page below. I also have a playlist to this artist and every artist. You just go to the reaction. Down below is the Spotify playlist and you can listen to my 80 minutes. So who are we talking about now? We're talking about Avant Rock guy who was born in California, died in California, raised in the Los Angeles area in Glendale, uh, California, and then um, lived, this is going to give it away, lived in the Mojave Desert and basically quit making music to paint full time. And he's a fantastic painter. If you haven't seen his paintings, sometimes they're on album covers, but Don Van Fleet is a wonderful artist, and when he made music, he went by the name of Captain Beefheart and his magic band. Not everyone's cup of tea. I love Captain Beefheart. Not every single song, not every single album, uh, but it's great. So I never got to see him in concert. I don't know if he was uh, one of the best performers, but um, yeah, I would have liked to have seen him. But I have uh, here, I have Trot Mask Replica right there. And then I, which is right here. And then I have this uh, Twofer CD. It's two of his albums. It's The Clear Spot and The Spotlight Kid. Is that correct? Do I have that right? The uh, Spotlight Kid and Clear Spot. So yeah, Spot is in the title of both. They were released the same year, and uh, they're short albums, so they put them on a single CD. I also own um, a Frank Zappa album that's a collaboration with him called Bongo Fury. And I used to have on vinyl, I used to have uh, a mint copy of Safe as Milk. Yeah, I think in mono. And I, I sold that for a pretty penny for like $20, $25 before I moved down here. It was really a collectible. So, yeah, I love him. And so what do I like? Well, you know, Trout Mask Replica is considered one of the most difficult albums to get into. And, you know, it still sounds different and fresh to me every time. But Beefheart, first of all, he's funny as hell. And he's got good instincts for the blues. I mean, early on he did a song called Diddy Wah Diddy, you know, cover of the old... Um, Manfred Mann song, I think. And that's in the playlist below. And th th that cooks. And, and there's songs like Zigzag Wander from Safe as Milk. These are just great blues. But then he went in this avant-garde direction. And he kind of became he kind of became the missing link between the Helen Wolf and Tom Waits, right? This gravelly voice. And Trout Mask, which was a double album, was just bonkers. But the more you listen to it, the more it makes sense. The more they start to form into songs and all this uh, discordant music starts to sound normal. And uh, then later, you know, uh, songs like A Million Miles from Venus and um, and uh, what's, the bean, what's the Bean song? God, I'm spacing that out tonight. It is, um, yeah, his eyes are a blue million miles and big eyed V. Okay, I got these two songs mixed up. Her eyes are a blue million miles and big eyed beans from Venus. Hilarious. Um, my head is my only house unless it rains, a song that the tubes covered, which is beautiful. And, uh, Making love to a vampire with a monkey on my knee. <laughs> if you haven't heard that, fantastic. I just, you know, just this uh, groove music with 
great humor. I mean, it's Dada, right? So he's just trying to do something like a uh, musical Picasso. So that's it. Um, appreciate you watching the channel. Let me know if you're a fan. And just, I don't know, Captain Beefheart, what can I say? He's it. You know, if you like Frank Zappa, you'll like Captain Beefheart more than likely. They were friends and on the same record label and different things like that. So, yeah, thanks for joining me as we say here in Bonita, Mexico. Buen dia.